Now, today, uh, we will be uh, discussing on, <clears throat> on Moses visiting top of the Mount Sinai uh, for five times. During those uh, five times uh, visitation, we will find some of the key uh, informations uh, for us to uh, memorize. So I will, we will be uh, looking at those five times Mount Sinai uh, visit, okay, one by one. One by one. As you have noticed right here, uh, Israelites crossed over the Red Sea and arrived in the wilderness. A, the wilderness, it's Sinai, Sinai Peninsula. Okay, the Bible calls it the wilderness. Okay, now as you know, the, those these Israelites settled in the wilderness for 40 years. 40 years. We have studied that already. Now, third month of their arrival came. Third month of the arrival came. That is, the, in the third month of the Exodus. Okay, always remember chapter 19, Exodus, right here. 19.1. I have given you all the Bible references all the time because you are pastors. Uh, you have to know exact references. Okay, not just telling people with the references. Now, in the third month, don't forget that, okay, third month, all of a sudden, uh, key events uh, begin to happen starting the third month of their arrival. Now, in the third month of the Exodus, Israelites arrived in the wilderness of Sinai. See? Right here. In, this is a Sinai mountain here. Okay? Just down the Sinai mountain. Okay? In English, we call it Sinai. But Sinai, it's okay. Your language, your people would say Sinai. Okay? Now, right here in this wilderness, Sinai, bottom of the Sinai mountain, the Bible calls it the wilderness of Sinai. See, in other words, at just the bottom of the Sinai mountain, Israelites arrived there. From there, Historic events begin to take place. Okay, you just you, when you teach, you have to draw this map and give them a visualize. Okay, visualize. Now they settled, Israelites settled in the wilderness of Sinai. Settled. Exodus 19, verses 1 and 2. They settled there. They have been moving from one spot to another all the time, ongoing moving, but all of a sudden, they settled there. Okay, right, the, you know, right under the Mount Sinai. Now, Yahweh called Moses. Yahweh, don't forget that, Yahweh, 
Next week, I will tell you who, who is the Yahweh. Okay? The Yahweh, just Jesus. Jesus appeared to Moses and asking, Moses, you come up to the Mount Sinai. Good. Jesus was in the, he was on the top of the Mount Sinai and asking, visit, visited Moses down the wilderness and said, Moses, you come up to the top of the Mount Sinai. Exodus 19.3 said that. Okay. So upon that request, Moses went up to the top of the Mount Sinai. First time. From there, Yahweh, Jesus, told Moses. First time, okay, on the top of the mountain, here, Exodus 19, verses 4 and 6. What message Moses was heard from Jesus? And Jesus said this, Moses, do you remember I delivered you from Egypt? He said that, okay? So Jesus said, Jesus actually delivered Israelites from Egypt. And also he said, I carried you on eagle's wings to the wilderness. See, I was the God who, who took all your people, two million Israelites, like uh, eagles, okay, in his wings. So all two million Israelites were on the eagle's wing, okay, and carried you guys to this wilderness. Isn't it interesting? See, we apply this to our life, such as, okay, you gentlemen, you came to here, this nation, by your own feet, but it was not. Jesus carried you okay, on his wings. Amen? Yeah. And he said, Therefore, my people, you obey me fully. He didn't say he obey me. He obey you obey me fully in in its entirety. Whole message that I'm going to teach you and tell you, you obey. Amen? Obedience is so crucial. You obey me. Eventually, they failed it. That's why they had to go, on, they had, they have to, to go through all kinds of uh, tribulations and trials in their lives. As long as we Christians obey what the Lord Jesus said, then my life and your life will be in no problem. Prosperous. Its issue is whether we obey his teaching or not. Now, and not only say that in a particular okay, say. You keep my covenant. You see, my covenant. They haven't received yet the Ten Commandments. This is a first visit. Later, Moses will receive Ten Commandments on the summit of the mountain. 
but not yet. But he said, you obey, you keep my commandments. When you do that, I will make you among all nations a top treasured nations. My treasured possession. possession. You will be treated as my treasure. Okay? Condition is you ought to obey my my covenant, my my commandment. Then I will treat you as my special precious treasure. Okay? Not only that, you will be a kingdom of priests and holy nations. In other words, you will be you will be highly esteemed by me. You will be called priest nations and holy nations. So religiously, you will be a top positioned uh, religion leader as a nation. That was the first visit time Moses had received from our Lord Jesus. Okay? See, after he said this, and now you go down to camp, you go down to the camp down and tell them what I have said to you. Here, Exodus 19, verses 10 through 13. So Moses, upon that commission, he went down to the camp. And he gathered all elders, top leaders. He gathered all elders there and told them exactly what Moses had learned from Jesus. Here, Exodus 19, verses 7 and 9, and also verses 14 to 18. It's a short story, but don't forget, this is the first time visit okay, to the summit of Mount Sinai. All recorded here in Exodus chapter 19. Chapter 19. So, let me just write down here. Exodus chapter 19, verses 1 through 19 story. This story is in first visit to the top of the Mount Sinai. So when you teach your people, just to teach slowly like that and let them write it down. The problem is the people do not write down. Just sit down and listening. You ought to train your people to write down. Amen? Okay. May God bless you.